Welcome to our series, Seeking the New Poetry. Poems by Arjava, Part 4. Vision of Eros. I paced the length of shrouded street, desponding, weary of earth, loathed charnel dust, Beneath my feet, prevailer over birth. I groaned when, harnessed in his light, the love god loomed upon my sight. Eros, or youth, with parted lips. Where was now the long eclipse? And raptured eyes and lily brow the whole earth was singing now, and lovely look of joy too deep to dream athwart its wonder sleep. That vision veiled, a larger scope engulfed the sense in swaths of hope. No light, but inner power of light lifted vast pinions o'er the night, fathomless and indigo, no form that shifted to and fro, no presence. We were present to those shadowy plumes of violet hue, that ageless brow with roses crowned, mysterious lips that made no sound, with eyes in eon darkness furled, the primal eros of our world. Soulstead. In the core of this shadowy world, a shadowless place, where sorrow's dark wings are unfurled, banished death's trace. Pinions of sheer delight conquer pain. Self-subsistent light comes again. Shifting and sunderhood, this cannot mar. Quenchless, unriven stood love's single star. How manifold disguises teemed from the one, loaned iterance suffices till the play is done. The master light, the silent deep, all strewn with stars, unswayably withholds a moon to reap the star-fraught ears that midnight's acre folds. Though a sickle blade in the harvest hour reap all the stars away, and the gleaner made of dawn shall leave the stark bare field of day. O Shiva moon, be swift and raise number and name and form, leaving the boon of wideness bright and peace beyond all storm. Only the foam made rainbows. Only the foam made rainbows in that cloudless land where no storm or stain shows enmities at hand. Under the blue, blue ocean, sealed in a pearl white grot, singers of heart's devotion frame songways to that spot. Flowers are not more fragrant 
than the incense of their strain. The whispering currents, vagrant, sift their golden grain. They've a tune of the silver fretting, of love's first eager dawn, and a rune of sun's outward setting in fields of deathless corn, where each poppy's a flaming token of all that the world denies, and a cornflower in sapphire has spoken of fathomless skies. Stanzas to Apollo. Swift lord of the golden arrow flight, splendor limbs we sought as in dream, our closeness to the uncreated light, wideness truth and purity supreme. The giants of night are battle fled, noisome clouds are wrested from the slough. Immortal flame glow is about thy head, honey pale, the stillness of thy brow. A moment, poise mirrored, tokens thee, guise of neck and arching of his wing, and limbed on the faultless ripple free sheen of light, where swanhood is the king. White shrine, near the sacred laurel boughs, marble quest of timelessness adored, from night's bitter ocean hastening prows, urge to thee, come visionary ord. When guardians of cities, wisdom fast, freed the gates of beauty for the soul, on vision splendid days, where thou had passed, broke what gale of strangeness from the whole. Thy body is a song that never palls, singing thoughts thy sandals on the way. Across thy limbs no shadow vesture falls, bright beyond thralled reckoning of clay. As a moonbeam flies, the silken web of the moon is fallen on the sea. Silence bereaved, set free, an old and a new tune. Swing low, swing low, gently your pinions lifting. Swing low, swing low. Starlight, your pinions sifting. Swing low, swing low, silent and moonwardly drifting. From this moon, so nearly full, gaze upon the crescent earth. Sad children of lunar dearth, fain would pull. Swing by, swing nigh, you are an earth beam here. Swing nigh, swing by. Scatter earth shine from your hair. Swing by, swing nigh on deadness and shadowscape drear. Starkly, that silver tomb issued, receding, hailed to new glories breeding in earth's womb. Swing fast, swing past, life's cry through the silence seeping. Swing past, swing fast, songwards and earthwards leaping. Swing fast, swing past, no more by death tide neeping. A prayer. Give me not only gold, but the use unwasted of each grain of splendor my dazzled eyes behold. 
or be thy nectar cup untasted, O heavenly lender. Cleanse and furnish new this heart receiving, till, like a child newborn, its day's unshadowed hue can no more suffer cloud racks reaving, sunless, forlorn. May my thought in some inmost shrine be ever deeming thee as the taintless giver, in grateful tranced shine, a soul ensilvered with thy gleaming like a moonlit river. Regaining. Hemmed by the sea on the eastward, by hummocking land on the west, goes the clear smooth trail of sand space, where way-worn feet may rest. Hemmed by the day and the next day, hovers one moon-haunted night. On day-weary eyes droop the salving, dream-hested petals of light. For those bruised by arrogant laughter, unraptured by glamorous show, is there somewhere a shrine of healing where truth and friendship grow? The divine Shakti, cosmic, transcendent, individual. Send thy pure cadences, O Mother Divine, to echo inly through the caves of a deepening heart which knows itself for thine. Play thy moon music on the quiet waves of an ocean's wideness in the still soul, where tidal waters wait thy hushed control. Unsullied wisdom of gold, which was thrice refined, shine in the clear space of holy noon on all the upland hollows of the mind May every shadow harboring thought be strewn with solar vastness and compelled to feel all fear and all self-limits quelled. Men have found thee in wildness and the sharp tanged air, breathed of green multitudes of earth, far from hate's city, orbits of despair, alleys of desire, or sultry streets of dearth. Take my offered will, and let it be fragrant as thine own, tameless, pure, and free.